All right, so this is going to be a Scorpio, Sun, Scorpio, Moon, I, and Scorpio rising. Love and relationship weekly tarot reading December uh, 23rd, 23rd to December 29th, 2019. And uh, if you guys uh, want to get in, in touch with me for a uh, oops, personal reading or uh, you want to take a look at the um, career tarot reading for that very same week for you, Check on the description down below and there you're gonna find both links, one for the reading and one for my website where you can schedule a, a personal reading. So that being said, moving to the Love Tarot reading for that particular week, we do have our topic here, which is uh, the Queen of Swords, followed by the next one, which is the uh, energies feeding up the topic and that is going to be Nine of Pentacles. Third card is going to be the challenges that we need to overcome throughout the week. That is going to be uh, the Five of Pentacles, followed by the other card, which is about the gifts and the blessings that uh, we can enjoy throughout the week. That is going to be uh, the uh, Page of Swords. Afterwards, what we have, it is how other people see you, um, are seeing us. Okay, that is uh, friends, that is family, that is uh, our partner in, in life, you know, wife, husband, uh, potential uh, interest uh, or a, a partner in general, that is going to be a tree of pentacles. Afterwards is going to be what can help our long term career go or how we can be um, relationship go, excuse me, or how we can be happy relationship wise. That is going to be the temperance followed by the other one, which is what can... Um, how can I say it? Uh, what can hurt our long-term relationship goals? That is going to be the King of Cups. And the last one here, it is the guidance that uh, the Tarot is offering to us. And that will be the Two of Pentacles. So quite interesting uh, reading is what we do have with our hands. Topic is a person here, Queen of uh, Swords, and is fed up by the energies of Nine of Pentacles. So that is a, a person who sees us as a, a very good potential relationship-wise. Um, or they are seeing the relationship we do have with them as that it has a even further potential for a further development. And that person really wants to jump into future relationship developments with us. Okay, now this is where the problem is. Now the Queen of Swords, it's not exactly someone who takes different opinions for a, um, I would say lightly, and it's not really someone who takes no as an answer as well. Uh, my point here is that the Queen of Swords, it's very cold in performance. That is kind of a person who thinks that it is always uh, right with their judgment and with their opinion, but it is also not unreasonable. I mean, the Queen of Swords always knows where the um, winds are blowing from, and it always sees the opening for actions uh, and knows generally how to push things through relationship and business wise, in this case, relationship wise with us. So, um, that doesn't, uh, by the way, I forgot to say that doesn't necessarily mean that this is a woman. It could be a man as well. It is just, it is a character of the Queen of uh, Swords. Now with the Nine of Pentacles, which is the energy that is feeding up, I mean, that Queen sees in us, in a relationship with us, a big potential. It is like a, a gold mine. Um, if the, or you can, you can say that the gold is a um, um, relationship stability here for the queen of swords one more thing the queen of the queen of swords does not allow emotions to dictate her judgment i'm saying her because it's a queen okay and uh, even that the queen may love you to the core of its bones or of her bones excuse me doesn't mean that um, she's going to allow you to do whatever you want okay there are certain expectations that uh, the queen has and those expectations either going to be or nothing happens. So we can expect throughout this week Scorpio to tackle with that individual, which could be, you know, our partner, our person of interest or someone brand new that it is coming on the stage. Very aggressive type of people, by the way, but it's kind of like when they bite, 
they don't lose it. So the other one, it is uh, the challenges that we need to overcome, and that is the five, the challenge of the five of pentacles. When we're talking about relationship with the five of pentacles, it is about the doubt that things can grow solid. So that is the challenge we need to overcome here. Okay, that's uh, immediately when that person comes around, especially if it is just someone that we are getting to know each other right now, we may be extremely skeptical that uh, things can develop in the long run or, you know, you can be, uh, you can feel insecure right now into your relationship, seeing that the Queen of Swords, that person you are with, it's acting rather cold and completely logically oriented without putting any emotions, putting on a, on a poker face. That doesn't mean that they don't love you. It is just, you know, someone needs to think and take a uh, logically found and based decision in the relationship itself. So we need to overcome here the sense of instability and lack of long longevity as well uh, that we are going to have throughout this week. Now, the other card, uh, one more thing uh, that's, uh, that came to my mind right now, it is also that if this is a, a long term kind of interaction, Okay, the five of pentacles may be may also represent the lack of belief that this is going to become a, a functional relationship. Okay, it is like you are stop hoping that one day you are gonna get to live each other or live next to another, you know, and kind of like being together in a physical sense. Now, the uh, gifts and the blessings for a Scorpio, it is the page of swords, and that is a very broad card into this. Um, particular uh, state uh, that represents that we are gifted with uh, the um, how can I say it uh, with the vision to assume everything okay and to accept as well everything so um, we are going to see the interaction or the performance of this person queen of swords more interesting than than threatening and that is a big blessing because what it does it actually allow us to um how can i say it? It, it it allow us to give chances to people that we normally would have not because we don't consider them as a long-term potential once again but now just for the sake of being um kind of like a uh, having a, a fresh wind into our uh, into our relationship environments uh, we're gonna either allow our partner to do their thing or uh, we are going to give a chance, you know, for example, go on a date with someone that we usually wouldn't go um, or give a chance to someone that we usually wouldn't give a chance to approach us. And uh, we're going to find out that we like it because it will turn out that this is an unexpected source of happiness. So that is the final blessing here. Unexpected source of happiness for us. Now, the other thing, the other card here is how others sees us, how our partner sees us, how our potential uh, interest sees us, you know, or future interest are go is going to see us throughout this week. That is the Tree of Pentacles. And there is only one way how I can describe this card in this narrative. They seeing us as a person who is willing to try, okay? Uh, you know, their ways may not be exactly what we are hoping for. Their ways may not be exactly what, uh, you know, we are agreed to, but yet they are seeing us as someone who is willing to try. And through that, they are willing to try as well. So here we are not talking about a one side subordination of our of our behalf, you know, that it's like we have to succumb to the ways of the other, but just showing that we, you know, we are um, by, by showing solidarity toward the other people, person ways, they're going to show solidarity to our ways uh, as well. This is how they're going to see us. Also, uh, they're going to see us as a, someone that they can talk to. That is also very important. So we can expect that some uh, big revelations or very personal, intimate stuff can be shared with us. And those who are sharing intimate stuff with us, make no mistake, they really have a romantic interest in us. So the other card here points to what can help our long-term relationship goal, and that is temperance. So temperance points that we need to find the correct measure 
uh, of how to tackle with this Queen of Swords. And that is a, a very broad exp explanation. And I will try to say it that way. B, do not take a, a, a extreme position, like extremely aggressive or extremely milder. You need to be somewhere in between. Additionally to that, uh, we, Scorpio, I'm seeing you, we, you know, it's kind of like, because in my language, it's it's in a bit different expression. I'm sorry, guys. But um, so we, with this uh, card, we have to also acknowledge that thoughts are individual things. We are individuals because we do have individual thoughts. And while our ideas and our thoughts are not exactly matching with our partner or with our future interest, you know, or with our current interest, that is, that doesn't mean that they do not fit into our life. And that's why you, again, need to show solidarity. We need to show compassion. But And this is how we are gonna find the right measure to tackle, to create something that uh, at first glance, it's incomparable. We are going to prove it other way around, but it is compatible. But ultimately, at the end of the day, we decide, are we going to jump into that or are we going to allow our current relationship to dig deeper? OK, it does depend on our personal preferences. So what is going to uh, obstruct our long term goal? And that is the King of Cups. That is a, a person who, um, how can I say it? Uh, well, that is a hidden admirer. Uh, this is how I'm going to say it. That is someone who has a deep emotions for us, but they never show them for one or another reason. And the thing is that we know that, okay? We know about it. And we're just waiting that person to show those emotions for us, but they never do. So it's like, what is going to what is going to hurt us is to wait for that proposal to come around. And uh, maybe this is why the queen comes around to give someone else a chance. So we provoke that person who loves us to approach us finally at the end of the day, you know, so. That's why I said that it doesn't have to go to a our relationship with the Queen of Swords. Okay, that is that could be just a prerequisite we do so we can uh, kind of like uh, how do you say it? Flush out, yeah, flush out this King of Cups who has a emotions for us. And the final card, it is uh, the guidance the Tower is offering to us. That is uh, the Two of Pentacles. Uh, two of Pentacles points that we should not stick on one place. What I mean it is that we need to um, try out different stuff throughout the week, romantically wise, okay? Uh, in other words, do not be stuck in the old ways, but some certain expectations, concepts of ours, uh, you know, as well, uh, ways or in generally how we are romantic and um, you know, how we tackle with future, with potential interests or with our partners uh, may prove an outdated and we need to have that um, awareness and agility as well to let go of those things. In other words, the um, guidance in general, it is that we have to be playful. This is how we are going to uh, reach maximum results romantic wise throughout this week. And uh, additionally to that, the Two of Pentacles uh, talks about a some uh, unexpected surprises, minor surprises, but they are going to be unexpected. And also those surprises could enrich our um, romantic environment uh, throughout this week, December 23rd to December 29th, 2019. So guys, that was uh, our relationship and love tarot reading for that week, December 23rd to December 29th. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And um, once again, if you uh, are interested in a private reading with me or you want to check uh, our Scorpio or your Scorpio uh, business and uh, career tarot reading, uh, you can check on the description down below and there you're going to find uh, a link to my website and as well a link to our other video for this week. That being said, guys, uh, see you next time and until then, bye.